एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In today's lecture, we will be covering complex variable. Welcome to S Chand Academy. I'm Dr. Neelam. For more details, you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing. The details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So let us start the today's topic, that is complex variable. So it is uh, the prerequisite is that you must know the operations on complex number. So that is the prerequisite to understand the complex variable. So here we start with the complex variable. So first of all, let us try to recall the. Uh, the definition of the function in real number. So, in definite uh, where f x, if this is a real valued function, so it was domain for this domain and range were given to us, and uh, this x was the real number, and for every x in S, we this function gives a value f x. in the range of that uh, uh, fx so here this s was the set of real numbers set of real numbers and that is why this function was called as the real function when we get take this uh, complex uh, variable so for complex variable this can be taken as y equal to fx when we take the when we take this uh, s as the set of complex number so let us say that s becomes the set of complex numbers complex number then this function of over complex number can be defined as w equals to f z where z is a complex variable and w is a complex function so z is a complex variable and this w is the complex function the the expression for w will be will be found out using this f of z using this relation f of z so since it is a complex function and uh, uh, therefore the value needs to be taken in form of u x plus iota y form but complex variable z will be represented as x plus iota y and w will be represented as u plus iota so they are the standard notation so if we rewrite this w equals to fz this can be written as u plus iota v equals to f of x plus iota y now since this side can be uh, we can we can uh, find out the real and imaginary part in this one the expression for u and v will be found out use by equating both the sides of this expression we must understand that u is a function of xy and v is also a function of xy x is called the real part of the complex variable this is the real part of the complex variable and y is the imaginary part of the complex variable and similarly u is the real part of the complex function real part of the function and v will be called as the imaginary part of the function imaginary part of the function they are the real and imaginary part but they are not imaginary in nature it should be very clear that here x and y both are real and similarly this function u and v they are also real functions in the, in x and y but together they are forming this uh, complex uh, function and x plus iota y they are forming a complex variable so we have to be very careful while using the term variable and while using the term function so we can uh, make it more clear by taking one example so let us say that if z is given as 
z square minus 2z z square minus 2z so this is a complex this is a complex function which is given in form of this complex variable so it is very clear that z can be written as x plus iota y and fz can be written as u plus iota v and which can be uh, notation for this can be written as w and the real and imaginary part can be written as u x y plus iota v x y so we will separate the real and imaginary part of this function so let us say that z is square minus 2z so z is square is written as x plus iota y whole square minus 2z so it is x square plus twice iota xy plus iota square y square minus this z also be replaced with x plus iota y minus 2x plus iota y. So we will combine the real and imaginary part and we know the relation by complex number that i square is equals to one, minus 1. So we will substitute this value of y square. So it is 2 iota xy minus y square minus 2x plus iota y. Now we will combine the real and imaginary parts together. So let us combine the real part. So this term x square minus y square and minus 2x they are not having iota therefore they will be forming the real part of the function. So it is x square minus y square minus 2x and then rest of the portion will be written as iota iota can be taken out and it is 2xy minus 2y. This was w equals to fz that is u plus iota v is equal to this one x square minus y square minus 2x plus iota 2xy minus 2x. So if we compare both the sides the, the real and imaginary part so uxy will be x square minus y square minus 2x and vxy can be written as 2xy minus 2x. So that is that's how we can separate the real and imaginary part of a complex function and we, we can see very clearly that uxy and vxy they are functions of x and y and which are real in nature but together they are forming the complex variable. So this is called the real part of the uh, complex function and this is called the imaginary part of the complex function which are given in form of xy. So that's how a complex variable and a complex function can be represented. So now let us take one more question in which the value of the complex variable will be found out at some particular point. So let us say that w is given as z is square plus 3z and we need to calculate find out the real and imaginary part at z equals to 1 plus 3 iota. So we need to evaluate this uh, we need to find out the value of this uh, function complex function at z equals to 3 iota. So for that we need to separate the real and imaginary part of this. So w is can be written as u plus iota v and therefore z can be written as x plus iota y whole square plus 3x plus iota y. So it can be we have already done this thing plus twice iota xy and we know that i square is minus 1. So it is i square y square, we will substitute the value for that to separate the real and imaginary part. So it becomes x square minus y square on substituting the value of i square as minus 1 and plus 3x. So this is the real portion, real part of the complex function and then plus iota 2xy plus 2xy plus 3y. So these are the real and imaginary parts of the given function. Now we need to find out the value of uxy at this point. Uh, so therefore we need to find out the expression for uxy. So uxy is x square minus y square plus 3x and vxy is 
2xy plus 3y. Now the given point has been taken as 1 plus 3i. So z is taken as x plus iota y is 1 plus 3i. So, if we compare both the sides of this expression, we know that x is taking value 1 and y is taking value 3. Therefore, we can uh, evaluate the value of uxy that is at 1 and 3 because we have got the value of x and y as 1 and 3. So, we will substitute this 1 is square minus 3 square plus 3 dot 1. So it is 1 minus 9 plus 3. So it is minus 5. And V as at 1, 3. So V at 1, 3 is 2 dot 1 dot 3 plus 3 dot 3. So it is 6 plus 9. So it is 15. So we can see that W can be written as minus 5 plus 15i at this is the value of the function of the complex function at the point uh, z equals to 1 plus 3i. So in this part of the video we have learned the relation how to write down the complex variable uh, complex function in form of complex variable and how to separate the real and imaginary part when the function is given as a complex function. So the parts of the complex function will be taken as u and v which will be real in itself but together they will form the complex function and similarly complex variable will be formed by x and y which are real in nature but together they are forming a complex variable that is x plus iota y. For more details please refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.